Okay, um, hey guys, so currently it's 11 o'clock and I just finished doing my morning routine. So now I'll be discussing to you guys how um, my online school works. So basically, um, from Monday to Thursday, our teacher will give us like a PDF documents for our study guide which indicates the lessons that we have to study for each week and of course a homework. So the lessons that we have to study each week, they'll just give you the name of the lesson and a website link. It can be a PDF document or a YouTube video about it and they expect us to study by ourselves and email them if we have any questions. Now the homework, it's not generally your homework where it's written. Um, they can make it like a concept map or, a, or like a speech task or animation, something that, something that is like it will be very creative and unique because if they just use worksheets, um, it will be an easy candidate for plagiarism and cheating. So um, from Monday to Thursday, I will be having two subjects each day sending me um, the lessons and homework. So for Monday, I have biology and AP English language. For Tuesday, I have um, general math and practical research. For Wednesday, I have earth and life science and um, psychology. Um, on Thursday, I have AP Calculus AB and either robotics or PE. And um, these homeworks are due next week. So like if it's given on Monday, it's due next Monday. So today's Tuesday, so I'm expecting something from general math and practical research. But since next week is Holy Week, that means we don't have school. So um, we get to submit our homeworks two weeks um, from now. So I'm going to get started with um, making a to-do list and I will update you guys. Um, so this is how I structure my to-do list. I have a day planner. So at the top, I write what online classes I have and normally I put like a parenthesis after each subject because that will indicate the lessons I have for that week. But since they haven't sent out the lessons yet, um, I haven't put the name of the lessons. Um, and this to-do is not the final to-do for today because I'm awaiting on the things that I need to do for those two subjects given. But these are the pending ones. Um, this one is due tomorrow, so I have to finish it. This one's due on this Thursday, so I also have to finish it. Um, these ones are due... Two weeks from now but they are very easy tasks it will just take 10 minutes so i just want to get this done so i don't have to think about it so while waiting for those two subjects to send their lessons um i'm gonna start doing the pd homework so let's begin So it's currently 12.13 and I just handed in my homework on PD so I can now take that off to my to-do list. So my general math and practical research has finally sent the lesson plan. So these are my lessons. This is for general math and this is for practical research. And then I made the to-do list. It's There's a lot that needs to be done because they said this is good for two weeks due to the Holy Week. But I just want to start off with like the first week and then I'll do the second week lessons next week. 
anyway, these are due in two weeks, so no rush. And this is how my to do looks to do list looks like. Um, I don't estimate to finish all of them. I estimate that if I can at least get like half of it done, then I am really proud of myself, especially in general math since I'm having a hard time since this business math and I never signed up for business math. I'm just forced to take it. I signed up for calculus and physics but not business math. And business math is one of my weakest parts of math because I generally do not understand the process. But anyway, um, I'm just going to do this calc homework because this will be due this Thursday. So this is more urgent. So let's begin. Also, just a little side note, um, you might be wondering how do I keep track of all my homeworks during online school. Well, I have the day planner that I showed you that's my to-do list, but I don't write down the due dates there. I write them down on my weekly planner. This is the Starbucks weekly planner that I got from my aunt. And basically, like for this whole week, I write down which, which subjects are due and I just color-coded them. And then here, since it's like a blank page, I wrote what the homework is about. So like this one, I wrote the questions needed. This one, I need to make an output. This one is just a essay. And this one is just word problems. So I stated the file name so it can be easy to find in my iPad. And this is generally how I keep track and organize so that I don't miss the deadline because in online school it is very easy to miss the deadline if you're not organized and if you miss the deadline there will always be consequences so let's try to avoid consequences and be organized so i always have this on my table open so that i will always remember what is due so now back to the calc homework So it's currently 1 o'clock and I just finished doing, well, one and a half number um, because it's already lunch. So I will just be doing this later after lunch and I'm going to go have lunch now. So it's currently 2.30 and I just um, finished eating and chat with family since that's part of the quarantine you get to spend more time together so next i'll just continue doing my calc homework so let's get started Okay, so our report card is out and um, my GPA is lower because I used to get 96 for the first sem and this is mid-quarter grade for second sem and it's a 95.6. So the reason why that fell, it's my biology. My biology is the lowest with A92 because I did not 
well, I was having a hard time with the lessons in biology, so that fell apart. But all my AP classes, um, basic calculus is basically AP Calc AB, it's A98. Um, AP English Language, which is Reading and Writing AP, is A99. So I was able to maintain my AP, well, my AP subjects, so I'm happy. And um, for robotics, I'm happy. I'm happy with a 96. Um, my practical research is a 93. Um, I could have done better, but I think the project got a low grade. That's why I it pulled it down to a 93. Um, PE is 95. I can't do anything about that because I'm just bad in PE. Um, personal development, yeah. That's like psychology, 97. Um, happy of it. And Earth and Life Science, which is Earth Science, is 96. And most proud for my Earth Science since all my hard work has also gone into Earth Science. And at least it scored above a 93. So overall, I'm happy with my average, but I think I can do better. Like for my biology, maybe during this last segment of the second semester maybe i can increase my gpa for the semester to at least uh 96 point some 96.1 96.2 since that's my aim for junior year to get at least a 96 in both semesters so there's still time to adjust so i just have to work harder in my online classes So I just went to get a quick snack, so um, I'm going to have a Nestle strawberry yogurt and I'm going to be trying this. Um, this is from Hong Kong, someone just gave us. It's basically, um, how do you call this, tangerine, tangerine. Wakasho's chia seed jelly tangerine. So it's basically chia seed jelly in an orange with orange flavor. So I'm just gonna be trying one piece of it. So gonna have a snack first, then we can proceed to writing that reflection. I just got my first college acceptance from Arizona State University. I didn't really get my like um let me be honest with you guys in the start of well not even the start of basically ever since like seventh or eighth grade to now i've been watching college decision reactions where people react and see whether they get in or not in college um, I mostly don't watch that much between grade 7 to grade 10, but in grade 11, um, I've been watching too much. Um, specifically, this year, I've watched about 15, and like a week ago, I already watched, what, 5 in a day? Um, because I think the results have, I think almost all their results have been coming out, and they already um, edited it. Um, so, um, what I want to say is that when watching these videos, I'm actually stressed because I've seen some actually qualified people who deserve to go to those universities and still get downright rejected, in which I still have no idea. So, I'm stressing um, on how, how, how should, like, I write my essays or how will I do the application process in the US because not unlike the one in Canada or Australia or in other countries I know like specifically what they're looking for but for the US it's really weird because it seems like a lottery system it seems like you you will be lucky if you can get in because I've seen some people who do not have the best grades, who do not have the 
do not have the best extracurriculars and yet get into those schools while those people who are very qualified to get in to those schools gets rejected. And so the thing is, I'm thinking if whether I should invest my time in those schools or they will just take a look at my paper and maybe 10 minutes just throw it to the bin. So um, I've got to say that this year has been the most stressful because one, I have to maintain my GPA. Two, my SAT got cancelled, so I have to make sure I can take the SAT before early action since I want to try to apply for early action. And um, three is extracurriculars. That's the one I'm afraid of. My GPA, for as long as I can remember, have been around from 95 to 96, which is technically okay since that GPA, when I turn it into US, it's around a, what, 3.8? 3.7 3, 3. to 3.9, let's just say. And it's actually quite good because most colleges um, average around the 3.4 to a 3.6, except, of course, from the very selective schools. But I only have very few extracurriculars because, one, my school starts at 7 and ends at 4. If you ever seen my Day in My Life video, that's been from grade 7 till now. So um, if we have extracurriculars like sports, we would start at 4. And we will end at 6. And let's just say if you end at 6, you go home, let's say, with the traffic, it takes 1 hour. That will be 7. You you eat, let's say, that's 1 hour, 8. So you only start studying at 8. And if you are in my school, you will have pass of homework, which is like, what time will you finish? 8 to 12, which is why I don't join that much activities. I only joined, like, a club that... That's o that I only go like for twice a month and then I have swimming but I don't do I'm not in the school team I just do my hobby swimming um once or twice a week and of course the only thing that's actually big and takes up more time is YouTube and Instagram so I have a feeling I might be at a disadvantage in um in extracurriculars because I only have like one or two two major while well, many people are out there they are in sports teams and then they're in um clubs where they're where they have high status like president vice president and of course they're volunteering and of course they have immersion so i was supposed to have my immersion this year but of course due to coronavirus it got cancelled so i thought i could put my immersion but sadly not so this is just my rant of how stressful college applications will be especially for the u.s um i'm also applying to canadian schools and i think it's much easier for the application process since they won't have any essay questions i just have to submit all my grades and australia too so and in the philippines i just have to write like one essay for each school so yeah so good luck with me this summer because it's just full of writing essays. Okay guys, um, just a quick update. Um, it's already 11 o'clock, so let me reiterate you um, what happened. So I'm supposed, like after doing my calc homework, I'm supposed to start doing the reflection. But my mind was feeling pretty burned out since I went a whole, basically two to three hours on that homework because it was really hard, so... Basically, if I can't handle like doing studying more than like a capacity of two to three hours without a rest, so um, so I just got a snack which you've seen me eating yogurt, and then I spent a good one hour to one and a half hour 
um as a free time so there i can watch my youtube videos catch up on instagram and then of course my rant about college because we all go through that in our lives um then after that it was probably around seven yeah it's around 6 30 to 7 um then of course i took a bath and then after taking a bath um my family called in because they said they're gonna have dinner so i ate dinner till eight and then usually since we're in quarantine we don't have that much exercise um i go out for a walk and don't worry um we live in a townhouse so basically it's like a small very small community with uh, with about what 15 houses so there's like a circular it's like it's in a circular shape so i can walk so from eight o'clock to nine o'clock i just um walk as an as an exercise and us like to take my mind off things because for the past weeks no for the past two weeks the air has been really fresh normally when i go walking um it really smells like pollution but now it smells fresh air and i can still hear birds and insects interacting so it's quite like being back in touch um with nature and it's a way for me to like not feel sluggish since if i don't exercise for more than two weeks i feel really sluggish and it really really has an impact on both my physical my mental health and of course in my studying so i always try to make every night a walking night so after nine o'clock I got back, I'm feeling very productive. I started doing those two reflections and I, yeah. So the video before this was just doing the two reflections at once. So I did it for um, two hours. Yeah, because it's already 11, yeah. So I did it for about two hours. So um, now I'm done pretty much for the day cause it's 11 o'clock so i'm feeling also pretty sleepy um in total i own um i can say it's pretty much sort of productive since i finished um all homeworks that are due this week but i didn't do like the lessons that were given that were given today um because of course those homeworks this week were pretty much very hard and I shouldn't have crammed it so one lesson learned um but i can sort of say that last week was more productive um i basically had six hours of studying each day last week because the homeworks are pretty much output projects so it takes your brain and your creativity um together so i can say compared to last week this is not that much productive since i have a pattern when i study like every in one week for more than like four to six hours the next week i tend to be burned out like i've been wanting rest and that's just my body so i'm allowing this week to be sort of less productive since i have next week to also do my homework so um i think i'm gonna call it like a night 11 o'clock so um normally if it's 11 i pretty much just watch maybe 30 minutes of a show and on tv since they're showing a lot of shows or maybe i'll just read a book but after that i'll just go to sleep so anyway i hope you like this day in my life online school edition technically because i've been studying the whole day yeah so that's kind of a day in my life and i hope you enjoy it and i'll see you in the next video bye